Uh, what's up guys, I'm Rago. What's up, I'm Lucas, and today we're here at the Cabrina RV in Hood River. Good to see Rago again. You. I even got a special treat for him. We got some Cabrina drifters here. My man. We're gonna drink a beer, and we're gonna I'm walk through that. the Cabrina Fusion Oil Series. Cheers, Rago. Cheers, buddy. So, all right, man, I guess, could, yeah, can you break this down for me? What are all these wings? What are they for? What's exactly, the scoop? yeah, we got a decent size range here. We got quite a few options and everyone kind of has their specific thing that they are better at. Um, I'll start up here up front. We got the 950. That's a front wing. That is mainly for kiteboarding. You're gonna have a pretty average lift with this, higher top speed so you can ride. Um, but a bit more power on a kite and it's not too lifty that you're popping out of the water like the surf wing so this is kind of our all-arounder easy to ride kite wing and one thing you'll notice different this year is we have a new connection point with the mast so all our wings come with a half fuselage and what this does is it really strengthens the connection point from the mast to the foil so you have less flex and a better response on the foil when you're riding so Huge upgrade for Cabrina. Very happy on this. All our wings are carbon. And uh, let's run through the sizes here. We got 950. We got this one here, 1300. This again, I this is kind of a unique wing because you can kite this wing, still have a blast. It's the one wing I bring on a trip. But what's cool about this is you can also surf it, wing it as well. It starts getting pretty good on the pumping. and You can get going on this. So this is kind of my all around wing that I travel. If you want to bring one wing on a trip, bring the 1300 and it kind of does all your needs kind of a good beginner wing as well right like exactly. the surf wings are kind of like the first wing that somebody would recommend usually yeah between this wing and the 950 you start on these um you're definitely going to have a blast and over the years one thing that the foils have done they've gotten better more lift more efficiency so um we've come a long way it's, i remember the first wings it's changing so damn so, quick it's and, a lot a lot easier to learn to wing these days oh uh, yeah sure. for sure and that kind of brings us to our next foils here we got the 1600 and the 1950. These two wings are pretty big. Um, and it's really that it'll depend to what conditions you're riding and what you're trying to do. So if you're riding the 1600, for example, this is kind of my go-to wing, if, wing foil. If I'm riding on a wing and the wind's, you know, 20 knots, you want a decently fast foil that has a good amount of lift, right? If you have a 1950, it can be good, but as soon as the wind gets cranking, it might be a little bit too much, but that kind of, the benefit of the big foil is when you're a beginner, you have way more lift and it's easier to get up at lower speeds, right? So when you're when you're winging, you're probably going to want to look between the 1600, 1950, and it's all depending on your skill levels, right? So if you want to ride yeah. lower speeds, lower winds, beginner, I would recommend going for the bigger one. As you get better, you go slightly to this one. They both pump amazing. Mm -hmm. You're both going to get a lot of glide from it and a lot of lift. So um, would rate like a rider's weight come into play with that as well? For sure. I mean. I don't know to what level. Obviously, you're yeah. the, the winger between the two of us here. <laughs> I mean, I'm 175. I'm on a, on a 1600. Mm -hmm. I'd say if you get closer to 200, you probably want you would enjoy the 1950. The 1950, exactly. Um, it, it does change the, the heavier you get. You want a slightly bigger wing. Yeah. Um, the average mid range, you're probably going to be on a 1600 for winging. This will be a little bit slower, but as you get better, you get to push it a bit more. You get a bit, a bit more speed out of it. Mm -hmm. The cool part about this is. When you're surfing, you don't really need to do much work. See, if you if you drop down to smaller wings, you need to do a bit more work or have a slightly bigger wave. So this kind of a mid-range wave, hip high, you're gonna have plenty of fun. Even down to your knees, you're gonna be gliding with this and pumping easily, right? Yep. And the 1950, again, it's a huge wing. Look at this thing. Look at me, <laughs> pretty much over my arms here. Pretty crazy. But um, again, the benefits mm -hmm. of this baby here, no speed at all you know you're winging you're inefficient in the beginning we all we all start we need some speed we need yeah. a lot of lift it's it's difficult to get going on the wing so if you get your first session you're gonna want to get a big one 
Um, if somebody wants to lend it to you, if you want to try, I would recommend hopping on this thing because it'll make your process a lot easier. And that's one of the hard parts about winging nowadays, right? Mm -hmm. And again, if you're doing dock starts, this is kind of a good start. The pump and wing. The pump wing, exactly. The uh, the fathomed wing that everybody asks about, bro. Exactly. I've never touched I've never touched any board in my life, but I want to pump off a dock. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wing. I gotta ask, so you were actually, we were over at the hatchery the other day, and I've gotta say, like, for the first time ever, winging actually looked kind of fun. Like, the mountains in the background, we have a view pretty similar to this. Just big swell, like, big swell, like, waist-high swell rolling through, oh, actually. It's, it's, like, incredible. I'd say Hood River is probably one of the meccas for winging now, right? Who would have thought? Sport. Yeah. And I'm a pro kiter, kited my whole life. I came here, and, what, I've been here for six days, and I've had one kite session, yeah. six wing sessions. <laughs> <laughs> so which which of these wings were you using for that? So I was on the 1600, this one here. Mm -hmm. Again, it's kind of the go-to wing for the all-around conditions. If you're riding waves, you want a good amount of lift, you want to go a little bit faster. Um, and this one still pumps fairly well. Right. So that's kind of my go-to choice. And then there's also other things that come yeah. into play here. Um, as you see here, our mast connects into the front wing directly. And then you have your fuselage here. So as a rear fuselage, you've got three options. We got carbon and aluminum. So that's two options here. And then we also have a aluminum slightly longer. Any what, benefits between these two? Like lift both of them up. This one is significantly lighter. You're gonna have a higher performance. Yeah, there's nothing there. In terms of weight, right? But in holy of, wow, that's actually very noticeable. It's significantly noticeable. That's noticeable. I think significant's and an understatement. If you jump, perhaps, yep. you'll feel a lot lighter on a foil like this. Um, we also make a different size on the mm -hmm. aluminum, slightly longer. So if you want a more locked in feel, yep. you can have a longer fuselage. It's kind of just options, kind of customizing your ride and what you like to do. We also have two different size tail wings, as you can see here. This up one up here is a 220. Get that in camera. This one below is a 300. So the pairing that I would use, I mainly only use the small tail wing. I prefer a looser, lighter feeling. But on the smaller wings, small tail wing, up to 1600. And 1600's kind of like your middle grounds where you can go smaller, you can go large, depending on how, how you want the oil to feel, right? So if you want something very smooth, very locked in, very stable, you go large, something a bit more playful, maybe a bit more curvy, easier to pump, you're gonna want a smaller tail wing, right? But if you're going all the way to 1900, you might as well put the big one on because you want stability. Around. What would happen if you put the small tail wing on the big, do you know? It'll work fine. Would it? Yeah, just, it, just a little bit of a looser tail. Be a loose tail? Yeah, and you're not gonna get the maximum stability out of it. Probably probably aggressively loose, yeah. considering you have such a big- It's a little like, imbalanced for sure. Imbalanced might be a good word, huh? Yeah, it, but I mean, I personally almost only ride the small one, and a lot of people want the stability and they ride the big one. So it's just kind of a two so customizing. 1600, you can kind of go either, and then that's where you draw the line and go big or small. You nailed it. That's it right there. Great. And I'm a pro last, winger now. And the last thing we're going to do here is talk about mass real quick. Hit me. We got aluminum option and carbon option. So all our wings are carbon. So if you want to go carbon, you get a base kit. Comes with an 80 centimeter mass. It's gonna come with a carbon fuselage with the rear wing you want and the front wing you want. You can have a full carbon setup or you can have a hybrid setup. This is what we call the fusion hybrid. So you get an aluminum mass. This one comes in 70 centimeters and 90, and the carbon comes in 80. So it's really depending on what size you want. A fusion hybrid's gonna come aluminum, it's gonna be a carbon front wing and an aluminum fuselage. So it's a hybrid foil, right? Um, half carbon, half aluminum. So again, it's kind of depending on what you prefer in terms of mass length. It's a little bit cheaper too, depending on what you want to fork out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of a run through. It's a lot of information. There's a lot of, a lot of product here, but for the low down. Um, Appreciate it, dude. Yeah. You, yeah. You can really customize your ride for the way you like it and what sport you do if you're kiting, winging, or surfing. I love it. We're going to keep this one a little bit shorter. I think we're approaching eight minutes. What we'll do is we'll uh, we'll ping Lucas and we'll do some review questionnaires where I hit you with some harder questions about each of these wings. 
So if you guys have any more questions, check out those videos or obviously leave a comment. And you can always get a hold of Tucker at the shop or any of the other foil guys there. Super knowledgeable. Cheers, guys. Great to see you again, dude. Cheers. And uh, as well, as always, if you found the video useful, thumbs up, subscribe. We'll catch you next time.